In this video, we'll just look at the comparison between Seva's theorem and Menelius' theorem. Actually, to separate them, so versus they are not the same. They are not uh, related to each other at all. Seva's theorem is about congruency. What does that mean? There are three separate lines. So there's a triangle. Both of them have a triangle. But in this case, you have the CVNs, which means you have these going from any of the uh, vertices to any of the edges and when do the when do these intersect so this is about concurrency is about intersection okay intersection three lines this is not one line it's three lines and when do the three lines intersect at the same point that's what seva's theorem is about Menelius theorem, if you have used the other pen anyway, is about a triangle and about a line, one line, one line. When is this one line going to intersect? And when this one line is there, well then what are these three points and what do they do to the ratio? So this is about the three points D E F being collinear in one line. Okay. And I of course have A B C. Here also I have D E F. This is generally the reason for the confusion. But there is no one point where they intersect. These three are in a line. That's what this is about. But of course uh, the confusion could be because you would basically do AD divided by DP is equal to BE divided by divided by EC is equal to CF and divided by FA. So this part uh, is true and even here it appears the same. So you have AD, let's use a different AD divided by DB is equal to and this is the negative term times bf divided by fc times ce divided by ea is equal to negative one this is actually also it's a ratio so it's multiplied together to give one i'm sorry about that so this should have been multiplied this is also multiplied and this is negative one in which the term where the f is outside, this is what is negative. So they are two different theorems that are talking about two different phenomena. One is with three lines and how all of them intersect at one point which is called congruent. And the other is about being in one line which is collinear, linear, collinear. All three are the same line. 